Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It is lovely to see you all again as always. Today's video guys is going to be relatively short and relatively sweet. I'm more or less going to get straight to the subject on this one. Because way back in 2020 when Joe Biden legitimately won the presidential election, I did a video about that subject and I got one of my first two strikes that I have on this channel. So you can pretty much imagine what I was saying in that particular video. So I won't be going down that avenue again anytime soon. Once bitten, twice shy, as they say. But what I want to talk to you about is something that you're probably all aware of by now, is the assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life at one of his rallies. Now, there are one or two discrepancies about this uh, footage because I have seen the video uh, and one thing I cannot seem to comprehend is the sh where the shooter was actually situated to take the shots I mean have you seen this guy have you seen pictures of this fella who supposedly took the shots he looks like worse or gummish that's been on heroin for 25 years I mean fucking hell what a mess for a 20 year old he looks dire straits but what I can understand is his positioning on top of that roof, how on God's green earth, Trump's security team or the police or whoever were the, with the, whoever were there, excuse me, could not have seen this man on that roof. Also, there was a member of the audience in the rally, a chap in a hat, who didn't flinch, didn't move, didn't take cover, didn't duck, didn't do anything when the shot started firing. He just sat there quietly and did nothing. Now he was either dead, or high on something, or he had prior knowledge as to what was going to happen. Now yes, I do have my tinfoil hat on for this video, I do, I do admit that, but uh, I cannot go as deep as I want to go, like I said, explained at the beginning of this video. Now, I knew this was coming over the hill initially when the uh, Democrats started dragging Trump through all this mud through over the last, what, four or five years that it's been, uh, saying he was in coots with Russia and uh, Putin and um, all that classified documents being taken out of the White House and getting the FBI to raid Marlag or things like that. When all them things failed, there was only, other, only, only one other way to displace Donald Trump. And we saw that yesterday. Now, of course, the lefties have been celebrating, popping champagne and shouting about glee that someone took a pot at, um, at Donald Trump. And there's people have been questioning it, as always, as they usually are, about how someone could get a grazed deer from a shot from a rifle. I'm no expert on guns either, but I have been talking to one or two people who, were, who own gun ranges in the United States, you know, proper... Proper Americans, proper believers of the Second Amendment. And they assure me that it's more than possible to graze someone's ear with a round from a rifle. So these people are just looking to pick bits out and say it's all fake just because it's Donald Trump. Now, as much as I despise the likes of Keir Starmer and Joe Biden, I would not like them to be shot. I wouldn't want anybody to, well... Apart from a select few, a select few people I'd like to be shot, but I wouldn't want to see any political leader shot just because I don't like them. If they were democratically, democratic, dem, democratically, excuse me, instilled in office by the people, Selavi, people have had their voice, people have had their thought. You don't go around trying to kill that person. But the left don't see it like that. They wanted to see this man dead more than anything in the entire world. I mean, some of the tweets that I've seen today are heartburn inducing. So yeah, guys, that's just about it really. Um, like I say, I would like to delve a little bit deeper into this, but uh, yeah, I don't want to lose my channel. Three strikes and you're out on this platform. So yeah, I'll keep you stumped for now. Once my two strikes have cleared from my past videos, then I might revisit this subject and then yeah, we'll have a proper chat about it. Oh, before I go, I want a quick uh, shout out to the people who've got some fucking raging hard on about me wearing a vest of all fucking things when I do my videos. This is British summertime, guys. It gets very warm in this house. We're looking about mid 60s to early 70s Fahrenheit of a night time. I am not going to sit here in a three piece suit with a dicky bow tie and a handkerchief in my top pocket with maybe a little rose in my lapel just to do a couple of minute video on YouTube. 
I'm going to sit here in my vest, in my shorts, with my fan on, and stay cool. <laughs> I'm not going to sweat my bollocks off just to satisfy your bourgeois standards. So yeah, that's the one. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.